I want to talk about Mike Myers in the film. I nearly crap myself when I saw his name pop up in the very first credits. And I was thinking, oh my God, where is he going to be? And I couldn't figure out, I couldn't see him. And then about three quarters of the way through the movie, the penny dropped and I realised he was the kind of grumpy record executive. Mark these words, no one will play a plea. How did that cameo come about? I think that was something, Mike had always wanted to be a part of this movie. and. Uh, that was something we had worked on for quite a while. Mike is obviously a huge Queen fan. When we were done uh, shooting those scenes, we had already shot Live Aid, and we had shot Live Aid in one long take, so we sat him by uh, a monitor, and I think he got pretty emotional watching it. Yeah, and right. Towards the end, he goes, oh, you guys are sitting on something really special here. So that was a big boost of confidence. But he is one of the funniest human beings you'll meet. And yeah. I even love the accent. It was sort of almost like fat bastard-esque. It, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a take on some, <laughs> he's so specific and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't break character. So we got that Ray Foster record executive all day long. The whole time. Yeah. Jesus. He's funny. He, he's as funny as you expect him to be, if not more. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah.